Hey guys, this is the Black Dragon. Um, today we're going to be testing a new combo, Death Cygnus Free 230 Circle Flat or F230CF. This thing is completely anti-Dragoon. So far I have not been able to come up with anything using Dragoon as the top chrome wheel that's actually able to beat it. Um, so it's pretty much a total boss. It's not that great against other stuff, but uh, it's pretty nuts. So um, in this video we're going to be testing it against y Bang Dragoon SA165R2F because I know uh, someone's going to ask how it was possibly able to beat that. Um, and then Revisor Dragoon SA165EWD which is one of the uh, most dominant spin stealers in the metagame right now. So um, the parts are the clear wheel Cygnus, just an overall high endurance clear wheel, totally pretty much awesome at everything. The Death Wheel has passable levels of stamina. It's got actually really high defense as well, and it has an incredible track record against opposite spin opponents. Free 230 is obviously for the Bay's ability to continue spinning on Circle Flat after Circle Flat's rim has fallen over but kept the combo standing up. So, um, alright, here we're going to be testing it out against... Uh, Revisor Dragoon SA165 EWD first. I'm not going to do a full 10 rounds against this one because it would take forever and a day. I'm using a Bay Launcher LR for each of them. Um, so I'm going to be doing uh, 5 rounds against this and 10 rounds against Y Bang Dragoon because that's intact. I've got to go a lot faster. Uh, you can see I just banked. Stalling is recommended, but I just wanted to get uh, Revisor Dragoon destabilized so I could make it end sooner because A, stamina battles like this drive me insane, and 2, uh, this video can't be longer than 15 minutes. Um, and I think I've, I've shaved it down to 14 minutes and 36 seconds, I think, so. Um... I also weak launched Dragoon in a couple of these rounds because uh, against an anti-spin steel or a spin equalizing wheel like Death that um, basically throws off its opponent at the end and prevents them from stealing spin, if you weak launch it's a lot more effective uh, because you will not usually be spinning at a higher speed than uh, the opposing bay, which is when it throws you off. Uh, but so here we go. They're just making contact here and watch closely. F two thirty took that. So there you have it. It actually OS Provider Dragoon SA one sixty five EWD. Um that's round one. That's the score is one to zero. Here we go this round. I have a feeling this round's gonna be shorter. And here we go. Uh, Revisor Dragoon is wobbling, and here comes the OS by Cygnus. That was Cygnus. You can see it uh, one by like half rotation at the end. I can't play. I would really like to play back the end of these rounds in slow motion, but I don't know why that uh, ability has been disabled on this video. Uh, program. It's it's kind of a cheap program, but uh, it's supposed to play stuff back in slow motion, and I don't know why it doesn't. But um, anyways, here we have round three. The score is two nothing at the moment. Death is coming in, and there we go. That was death, I believe. That was that was a really close round. It's not usually that close. Another thing, my F two thirty I've noticed is a little bit like smoother than some other people's F two thirties. I mean, the brown ones are horrible, but even I've seen a couple other orange ones, and this one's ever so slightly smoother. So um, it'd be awesome. If I think that one was a tie. That was a tie. So, um, 
now for round five, the score is three nothing. But anyways, if you if there's any other users with an orange F two thirty, I would ask you to please test this because against these spin stealers, I'm pretty sure a normal F two thirty would work too. But if mine is unusually smooth, then I think these combos may be able to pull out some ties or maybe even a couple wins out of it. So it would be awesome if uh, some of you could try that out if you have an orange F two thirty. That was Cygnus by a mile. Uh, so that makes the score four nothing. Uh, round six. Oop, I messed up launch there. And this, I believe, was the boring round where Cygnus just stalled for a hundred million years. So uh, this one's gonna go on for a while. And this is the only. This is this round. I did. Um, I did not weak launch Dragoon. So this match could last for a while. But anyways, yeah. If any of you guys have. Uh, an orange free 230 as well as death and a circle flat you can you can use cancer with this combo you can use Hades you can use Aquario anything actually you could use any clear wheel because it's a spin equalizer you don't really need that high endurance but uh, death F230 circle flat if any of you guys have an orange one then it would be totally awesome if you can could uh, contribute to some testing against spin equalizers but at least with this F two thirty, so far it's absolutely slaughtered every single dragoon combination I've put put it up against. Uh, here we go. Cygnus is closing in, and the combo has made contact. And. There it is, Cygnus takes the win, that makes the score 5 nothing. Now, for a few rounds against Wyvang Dragoon, you're going to see Circle Flats, Circle Flat, you can see this combo utilize Circle Flats' aggressive movement pattern and actually slam into Dragoon from the opposite direction to stop it. Uh, I'm going to be using these launchers for them, I'm going to use the grip for Dragoon. Um, I'm also going to be launching it like this with a wider sweep, not exactly through the middle, more of a wider sweeping launch. But anyways, if you look in the OP, I'll explain Circle Flat's ability to counter opposite spin attack types, but I knew I was going to get some uh, comments on this thing be able, being able to take this out, because in just about all my other threads, I've had a comment on Y Bang Dragoon. So I decided to just put it in the first video this time. Um, so here we go. You can see Circle Flat was able to speed around and uh, make contact with Dra Dragoon before it was really able to pick up much speed. And I have tried this launching Dragoon first. Uh, that was a win by Cygnus. I have tried this launching Dragoon first and it still just totally doesn't work. It's maybe even worse. Circle flat, oh, that was KO by Cygnus. Circle flat on a lighter combo accelerates a lot faster than R2F on a synchrome combination. So really what Cygnus is doing here is catching Dragoon before it has a chance to move very, oh, there's another KO by Cygnus. Is basically catching Dragoon before it has a chance to move very much. And um, another way you can uh, do that that much more effectively against the Dragoon combination is that if you actually slide Cygnus along the Tornado Ridge while you're stalling it so that it's immediately up to f up it's immediately stalling at full speed it helps a lot um, I've also tried this stalling Dragoon and it still doesn't work I j guess death is just a little bit too ro t uh, low recoil with circle flat going on there, but um, here I believe that uh, makes the score three zero. It's time for round four. There's another KO by Cygnus, uh, so that makes the score four nothing. Uh, now round five, as you can see, it is absolutely owning Wyvang Dragoon.
which is I found incredibly strange. See, look, even when Dragoon can make sufficient contact, Death is still able to stay inside the stadium. Go figure. I don't really don't know why it does. And one thing may be that um, Wyvang actually right now is only making contact half the time uh, because of uh, I. I did not move the stadium right there. That was uh, moving the camera. Um, and there's another one by Cygnus that makes a score 5 nothing. Anyways, uh, because of Death's unusual height on a 230, uh, 230 track, it's uncommonly tall. So most of what's making contact right now is the Dragoon Chrome Wheel on top of the attack type. Um, Wyvang is, pro I would estimate, is only making contact maybe like... 50% of the time, so it's also u utilizing its height, and death also, death is also, um, has very low recoil, and really is really hard to grip onto with less spin, death is, can, all uh, death BD 145 RDF has some seriously high win rates against less spin attackers when I've tried it out, um, so, uh, here we go, another OS, it makes score 6 nothing. I really found death to be great against anything left spin. Defense types, stamina types, attack types, anything left rotating. It just pretty much owns. Um, if it's on the setup, like... Yeah, death BD145 RDF is also really good. Um, is a pretty great counter to some left spin combos, but it has some serious, uh, again, here we go, there's the OS, but it can be KO'd easier than this combo, and it loses to some, uh, other right spin defenders, and, uh, yeah. Here we go, there you can see Wyvang Dragoon got a very clean hit there. And right there, Dragoon was about to whip across the stadium and slam into Cygnus, but Circle Flat acted up and went and uh, smacked it before it could move. But uh, as you can see, Dragoon got some pretty clean movement and hits on there, but Cygnus still held out really, really well. There we go. There's the OS that makes the score... Um, 8-0, I believe. Uh, here we go. And there's Dragoon. Uh, Cygnus got a couple wall saves there. I think Dragoon could be, maybe able to pull off like one KO in 10 rounds, but so far I haven't actually seen it do it yet. But I think it might be able to. And there's the OS. I think that makes the score 9 to 0. So here we go. I believe this is the final round. And. Again, this R2. This is a prime R2F. This is the best R2F I have, so it's not the condition of the tip, and I already showed you how I was launching it. It's not the launch, it's just that Cygnus beats it. So, there you have it. Last OS by a pretty significant amount of rotations, so this thing just absolutely obliterated both of these combos. Like, stomp, just completely destroyed them. Hit him over the head with a baseball bat, so... There you have it. That is Death Cygnus Free 230 Circle Flat, what I like to call the Dragon Slayer. Basically kills absolutely anything uh, Dragoon-based. Um, Alright guys, uh, if you have an Orange F230, again, please uh, try to contribute to the testing if you can. And uh, thanks for watching. I will see you later.